another episode of Minecraft War. Today, we're going to be attempting to complete the only mission that we have currently right now. And let's just say, if we complete this, we will get some very, very good stuff. And there is room for bargaining. So, the mission that we're trying to complete is this. Um, it was given to me by Geki. The target is Fallows. And it's actually a good reason. And also, it's, um, it's good rewards as well. And basically said, what I want, justice for the horror things that I had to endure while under his capture reasons. Fallows contacted me requesting support for himself to get a lift in my helicopter. I gladly accept it as we business bears are kind, gentle people. Are they really? Are they really? But anyway, he sent me cords to his base and I went there. When I got there, he lured me into his base and trapped me in using uranium rods. If I moved an inch, I would die. He held me up until I gave him free materials. Which, that doesn't sound too good. We are, And this is the interesting bit. We are willing to pay you by supplying you with a nuclear bomb along with multiple vehicles of your choosing. If you request gun slash food instead, we can do that as well. So basically, by him offering all that, he's kind of saying that there's a bit of wiggle room. I can either get a nuclear bomb, if they have one, or I could, for example, request more obsidian maybe off them and maybe some guns. I, I There's a bit of wiggle room. And I think I might try and see if I can get maybe a nuclear bomb and... Maybe some obsidian? I don't know, or we'll just see what happens. But anyway, so I tried to get in contact with Geki. Uh, he was on yesterday, but I forgot to ask him. Tried to get in contact with him to ask, what's the chords to the base? Who is this person? You know what I mean? That kind of way. Um, I wish he actually left this in the book because he knew the chords. That would have made my life a lot easier. But I forgot to ask. So I started contacting people on the server and a guy called Aethrax replied and he said that Fallows is part of a group called the Red Riders. Um, I'm familiar with this group, you know. Um, th this group has done some evil things, but this is a different target. So I'm basically, I'm after Fallows. Because that's definitely cruel. And I, and they're offering a lot of money, so I'm going to complete this. But anyway, guys, welcome to today's episode of Minecraft 4. If you enjoyed this, go down below, smash that like button. It'd be greatly appreciated. And at the moment, so what I'm doing is I'm waiting. There he is. He's already here. These, I think this guy and no FPS, they are going to lead me towards Fallow's base. Uh, I asked, you know where Red Riders lives? I think I know what base we're talking about, but I believe they've moved base. And Aetherax and stuff aren't offering any money. To show me, which is fantastic. So if it is the same base that I know of, then it's fine. You know what I mean? Uh, it, at least I didn't waste any money. So anyway, I guess uh, we'll start heading. But then when we get to that base, I don't think Fallows is online right now. So we'll have to wait for Fallows to log online. So we'll have to camp. So I brought, br I brought plenty of food. Now in fairness, I'm not going to lie. I stole a bit of Geki's potatoes. Because at the end of the day, I'm doing a mission for him. I'm sure he won't mind. But like all I will need is food. And that's it. If I'm going to camp out for a very, very long time, I'm just going to need food. Okay, let's hope they actually lead me to a base and not to a trap. Because they didn't ask, they didn't They didn't say, hey, you know I mean, I'll give me this and, you know, I'll show you the cords. They just said, yeah, I'll show you the way. But it could be a trap. But then again, this guy is, he has no armor, so he's not going to trap me, right? But maybe that's what they want me to think. <laughs> like, Aethrax is behind me right now. I don't know if he has an OP gun. He could just literally pull it out. Oh, well, he was, but there he is. Well, he was behind us, I was going to say. Um, hmm. Did you just try to hit me into the lava? Hmm. Okay. Okay, that really seemed like he was trying to hit me into the lava there. That was really weird. Dude, I swear. This one guy cannot... He can't kill me. Honestly, he's naked. Unless he has a powerful gun and turns around and shoots me. But why wouldn't he have just done it already? That was really weird. I think he might have just been messing, but that actually genuinely could have killed me. I'm going to keep my gun out now, just in case. Even though if he's going to kill me, I probably won't see it coming. But at least I had my gun out. <laughs> is this it? Are we here? This looks like something anyway. So this is the base. Yeah? This is, yeah, this is the base. Okay, right. You never saw me. Around this area. You never led me here, okay? Thank you very much. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that food as payment. That's healthy food right there. Wait, are you part? Of, you're not... Oh, oh yeah, because you said you both left. Yeah, you left this group. Okay. Is there any weaknesses inside it? Like, is there any, like... Oh, I'm not looking to raid it. Uh, I don't really know if I want to disclose the information with you. But basically, I'm here to take out Fallows. 
Oh, Valos. Yeah. But he's not on a lot, but yeah, I'll, he I'll will wait. be here if you if he turns up anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait. If he turns up anywhere, he will be here. Do you know where the main area that they'll okay. be chilling at? Just up there? I can. I think I can see it with my scope. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, that's all I need to really know. Yeah, right there. Yeah. All right, then. Um, okay. I'll let you guys be. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, I'll see you later, guys. Right, so they showed me to the base. This is interesting. They were actually part of this team. Now, I hope they don't hang around for long. It's actually all right at the moment because... I think there's only a few Red Rider members online. Um, I'm not here to take out Red Rider members. I'm here to take out Pacific Guy in that group. So I can't have them seeing me either. And I just hope that they don't snitch. And I really hope they leave soon because they're going to get me caught. But I'm basically trying to scout this out now and think what's the best way to actually do this. So the guy was obviously pointing up there. No OPS was saying that that's the main place they hang out. So I need to get like a good vantage point that loads in the render distance of the players. And we should be good. And I could message uh, Fallows on Discord. Like, be like, hey, dude, uh, can you come online? You've got, like, an item that I need or something like that. And then, boom, take him out. <laughs> All right, what's the best way to do this? So, there is a few of them online. Apparently, they might not be home. It doesn't look like anyone's home. But if we just get here, this is a good little vantage point. I can just peek in the corner, hopefully. Oh, yeah, like, this would be a good little vantage point. Okay, Twins just after giving me a bit of a tip-off. Apparently... They said that they're following me. I need to be the true assassin that I am and I need to escape. Apparently, they said they might kill me. Is Twin in their chat or something or just like allied up with them? And Twin's obviously trying to help me out. The, basically, the guys that... Yeah, look, look. I can see him. Look, they're actually following. They're not leaving. I might have to take them out. I actually might have to take them out. They're not listening. And apparently, Twin just... Twin wouldn't warn me for no reason. Do you know what I mean? What are they doing? Go, they know I, they know I'm trying to do a mission. Are they looking for me? They're definitely looking for me. What are you doing, buddy? Get out of here. I don't want to kill them. Like, Twin could be trolling me. I have no idea, but I don't want to kill them. But like, it looks like they're looking for me. And they have followed me, even though I said, don't follow me. I was never here. You know, stuff like that. Okay. No, this is weird. No, I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. They're putting on armor and everything. Nah. Nah, I don't like this one bit. I told them to leave. They're not leaving. They have guns. I'm taking them out if I get a chance. Stay still. Oh, they're definitely here to kill me. Will I survive this? I don't know. I might kill one. Say, pick up the stuff and leave. If I can. Take his stuff and leave. Now. Take the stuff and leave. Now. Okay? Otherwise, I'll finish you right now. I'm Th Aethrax. He can definitely hear me. He's He is kind of leaving. In fairness. I can finish him right now. But I want to at least say... At least I gave them mercy, in a sense. Like, I killed one guy. But he's got all his stuff. I didn't take any of it. Okay, apparently he's lagging. Okay, that's fair enough. That would explain why he was stopping and starting. That's fine. He did say he was lagging earlier. That's fine. They were they were definitely here to kill me. They definitely were. They thought, see, they thought I was inside the base just waiting. Where? Why would I do that? They didn't know I had a sniper rifle, obviously. They thought I was inside the base. That's why they were running around inside there looking for me. Thank you very much, Twin, for helping me out. Twin is being such... I honestly, Twin is, uh, is a lifesaver. I would be dead right now because I, I would have been sitting on this hill waiting like this and they would have came up behind me and actually killed me. Oh my god, Twin, thank you so much. And call me bull, I guess, as well. I wonder if they're all in Discord and then they're like, oh, we're gonna kill them. Yo, Twin, Twin. How, were yeah. you in the same chat as them? Yes, I was. What, what were they saying? Uh, they were wanting to get, like, easy info on you. And they were like, wanting to follow you. And I think one of them wanted someone to kill you right there. Well, so I, was like... uh, I think they wanted to kill me because basically they came over. Um, I said I'd be camping outside the base. I told them I was doing, like, a hitman job. And, um... I said, uh, where's the best place to, you know, camp out? Where would they be hanging about if Fallows came online, for example? And he said, up at that bit of the base. I said, oh, yeah, I'll be up there camping away. So what they did is they came running over and started thinking that I was hiding inside the base area, whereas actually up on the mountain. And um, basically, I, I literally could see that looking for me. Then all of a sudden, um, no FPS has a rocket launcher by the looks of it, and then starts putting on armor. So I was like, at this point, it's like, yeah, they're definitely looking for me. I, and I told them to stay away. I literally said, do not follow me. Uh, you were never here. You know, stuff like that. And I thought it was weird because when they showed me the base cords, they didn't offer payment. So it kind of makes sense. And also, 
thinking back now, no FPS tried to kill me by the looks of it in lava. He like punched me in and then was like pretending like he didn't try. That was earlier yeah. now. And basically what happened was uh, no FPS stopped. I shot him, gave the other guy an option, said take your stuff and leave. And that's it. I don't think they realized that. Yeah, I, I don't think they realized I was overwatching on the mountainside. Yeah, I just had to give you that little no, tip because thank like... You, thank you so much, but they're not going to trust you ever again now. You know that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I appreciate that. Honestly, you're a good ally. Everything, I appreciate that. You're welcome. Nice one. So there we go, guys. Those guys were trying to take an opportunity, and that is fair enough. At the end of the day, I, maybe I would have tried the same opportunity. If I knew that there was a, a bounty hunter in the area who was going to be camping out and had good guns, and there was two of them, and I, I was evil and didn't care and wanted you know, good stuff, you know, maybe I would have tried it as well. They just didn't really have the best approach because in fairness, I got tipped off, which was great. Um, if I didn't, I probably would have been dead. But even if I did, if I got up to this mountainside sooner, I would have spotted them anyway. But there we go. That's what this show is all about. It's not just about killing people and just basically like taking their stuff. I gave him an option. I took one of their guys out and I said to Aatrox, I said, look, you, you take the stuff and you run. Or he could, he could have tried and killed me again, or went for me. But obviously then, that's a 50-50 game. But I gave him the option. Take the stuff and go, or maybe die, or maybe kill me. It's, a, it's an option. I gave them a little bit of mercy, even though I was a little bit brutal. But then again, they were trying, they were definitely trying to get me. But anyway, we're not swaying from the mission. But the only thing is the mission may be upset. Because I don't know if they're going to contact Fallows now and say, do not come on the server, do not um, go outside, you know what I mean? Or basically tip him off that I'm up here waiting around for him. I have no idea. But I'm going to at least try and carry on the mission. But holy smokes, that was intense. Now, what team are they a part of? So they're part of a team called Grand. Um, now, I'm not going to take that as their judgment or whatever. Grand seemed like they're a new faction. They were trying to scavenge for materials and thought killing me would be an easy target. That's literally what they thought. Um, and I'll leave it there. If they want to try come back for revenge later... We'll see what happens, but I will leave that little bit there. I am here for one thing only, and that is the job. To kill Fallows. <laughs> I want a nuclear weapon, you know what I mean? And I want to finish my Obsidian Vault. Oh, you cheeky buggers. You cheeky buggers. They're not leaving, are they? Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, get the message. You do not have to die today as well. Well, I could still die, but I'm just saying, like, I do have a one-shot weapon. Come on, Aethrax. That might not be Aethrax. That could be some Red Riders mem members right now trying to hunt me out. But if that's Aethrax in his helicopter, please no. I will, honestly, they're going to lose all their stuff today. Okay, at the moment, Fallows is not even online. And I look. it looks like I have two bandits basically after me. I shouldn't have trusted them. I thought I could trust them. They seem like nice guys. In fairness, they are nice guys in, in real life. Of course, they're friends. But this is a show. People change. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to back off into the far forest area and just hide out there for a bit and let them cool down. Because they're basically in the helicopter scouting for me. I don't know how they didn't spot me, but I bet you any money they don't even know where I was. When I shot no FPS, they're probably like, where is he? Because they were looking out the opposite direction. They, it looked like they thought I was in the water. I'm just going to chill out here and just wait for at least Fallows to come online, then move in. But then again, Fallows might not come online today. It's a chance. But I'm just camping here for a while because this is around about the time... Where kind of everyone starts logging on the server, so I thought now would be a good time. But I feel like these guys are going to ruin it for me. I, I knew it wouldn't be easy. The first job was too easy, and I knew this wouldn't be easy. And this is why. <laughs> okay, honestly, these guys do not give up. They're back chilling. They're back around now with a helicopter to see if I'm still camping out here. They honestly do not give up. Where are they even gone? Now, it's just a little bird from what I see. It's not a little bird with a machine gun on it, so it's I'm not really scared of the vehicle. It's just... What are these guys up to? I, I literally gave them mercy. I took him out and I said, look, take your stuff and go. But they're only lingering around here for one reason. They want to kill me. Now, I want to leave because I don't want to die myself. But then I don't want to leave and then Fallow comes online and I miss my chance. You know what I mean? So I'm quite scared in the moment. Now, I'm making sure that I stay high in the sky. Like, basically high in the mountaintop. So that it's harder for them to get me. Because if I'm down below... They can get the jump of me, but if I'm up here, it's a lot harder for them to get the jump. They're actually asking me a lot of questions. It's almost like they're trying to get me um, distracted. That's what it seems like, anyway. They're basically hunting me down. They, they have no idea where I am. They said that they saw me earlier, but I think they were just messing, trying to spook me, which makes sense to make me move. And I maybe I shouldn't have moved, but I did get spooked. But a helicopter basically just went around the back of the mountain here. 
but I don't see them. Okay, so it's been a little while. They seem to be gone. No helicopters passing by anyway. So anyway, let's get ourselves back on track for killing Fallows. Getting this mission done, because if we get this done, we get some good stuff. But this mission is not going to be easy, and I prefer that it's not easy, because then it wouldn't feel like we've earned it. You know what I mean? So basically, they're definitely gone. They're not around new. I scoured, I've looked, I, there's no helicopters. If I hear one, I'll run. But this is the main area where they'll be chilling, apparently, with a log on. Look, you can see that this is their bed. This is probably their full spawn bed, so they probably all spawn here. Have they got stuff in the chest to prove this is, like, where they're chilling? Not a lot, to be honest. Oh, no, okay, right. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely... This is definitely their base. Okay, so I need to get a good vantage point inside here, which I would say inside a little... Uh, right inside there would be the best thing ever. Holy smokes, yes, it would. I basically need to make myself a surveillance nest slash sniper nest. That's all I need to make. So if I do this, I just need the perfect view in right now. Okay, this is literally perfect. I've tried to make it blended as best I can. Obviously, I'm not shown as dog. It basically just looks like hopefully a little one by one hole. Look, I literally just peek in here. And if they do spawn up there, I should be able to see the top of his chest. But that's if he logs on or not. I will literally have to camp here. Until he logs on. And hopefully it happens next episode. If it doesn't happen next episode, what I'll do is I'll basically just block this up. And I'll keep this here so hopefully I can use it again when he is online. But anyway guys, I am going to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I am probably going to put auto sneak on for a while. Go AFK for a little while. Keep an eye on chat. See if he logs online. If he does, I can record this episode a lot sooner. Sooner. Oh no, I thought someone I thought literally someone was after coming online there. But anyway guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully we can complete this mission because like the rewards that we're gonna get from it is gonna be insane. But anyway guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.